Welcome to a brand new podcast, and as always, this is the Oracle 19, and my name is Mr. Greatness. You can shop online to our baby shopping mall, which is www.evolutionoflondon.com. We have a whole wide range of products, that's men's, kids, ladies' clothes, house products, perfume, etc. It's close to 20, no, no, 20,000, literally 20,000 different products, so you a lot to shop, and you can show your support that way. EvolutionOfLondon.com, as well as EvolutionOfLondon.org, O-R-G, for custom clothes, accessories, and digital products as well. And finally, EvolutionOfLondon.store, S-T-O-R-E, games, DVDs, more clothes, accessories. So again, that's EvolutionOfLondon.store. You can also check out different links to other affiliates that we have, www.linktree.com forward slash Evolution of London. You can support us that way. We do have a Patreon channel, which we have videos that's not posted on YouTube, digital artwork, and we have consulting services as well. So that's www.patreon.com. Any businesses that want you want to put on our platform, you can email us at evolutionoflondon at gmail.com. Same email if you want to make a free will offering. Again, evolutionoflondon at gmail.com. We on Rumble, rumble.com. Just type in the Oracle 19. You will find more information there. We have a lot of shows there, and we will be adding more. So that's www.rumble.com, and type in the Oracle 19. Check out the company Royalty 9 International. They make homemade candles, 100% soy wax, 12-ounce jars, from scented to unscented. Now the scented candles is from frankincense and myrrh, jasmine, eucalyptus, rose, vanilla, just to name a few. So if you want to place an order, email the company at royalty9international at gmail.com. They're on, they're on Instagram, excuse me, they're on Instagram as well as TikTok, royalty 9 International. And again, it's very good quality. Over 35 plus burning time. I have quite a few now and it's very good quality. So again, Royalty 9 International. Mr. Will, he's been a fitness consultant for over 15 years. So if you want to, if you want him to, if you need consulting services, the bottom line, if you need consulting services on your fitness, email healthfitnessconsultant1 at gmail.com. Again, that's healthfitnessconsultant1 at gmail.com. You can also support his merch, www.wjaaccessories.com for custom clothes, accessories, and digital products. DJ Panthro, he's an international DJ, so if you want to book for him to come to your venue, email him at DJ Panthro 519 at gmail.com. That's DJ Panthro, P A N T H R O 519 at gmail.com. And you will find him on. YouTube, so YouTube, that's DJ Panther 519, uh, 519, excuse me, like, subscribe, and share to his 
platform. And you can also find him on Instagram and TikTok, DJ Panthro, and his bonus page on TikTok is The Real DJ Panthro. That's The, D-A, The Real DJ Panthro. So you can support him that way. Again, DJ Panthro. Music. Cheap Limousine channel on YouTube. We have a whole wide range of different beats. So once you go to his platform on YouTube, you will see his other social media sites. So like, subscribe, and share to Cheap Limousine channel on YouTube. And continue to train on YouTube is the Greatness 19 channel. We have over 750. 35 shows so we are growing i need you guys to continue pushing the video or well the show or i should say the channel online because i know we shadow banned so we're not really getting a lot of uh like watch time it fluctuates up and down and i know when the allegedly when the shows is too deep the algorithms, they, they don't, it's not promoted as much. It actually drops because a lot of times, in my opinion, uh, it's quietly shadow banned. And I get email on that too. So, you know, I, I need you guys to push it by promoting and, you know, do whatever you can because we need to get that out there more and more. On the road, four or five thousand subs. And if you scroll down the page of the Greatness 19 channel, you will see Mr. Evolution of London. That's our health and wellness channel. Just make sure your guys are still subscribed because YouTube, you know, they're very funny, very funny style. So just check this, make sure you still subscribe to Mr. Evolution of London as well as the Greatness 19 channel. Cindy's Place, she has custom clothes, accessories, and digital products as well. Support her brand by www.cindysplace.org. Again, that's www.cindysplace.org. Now, the Oracle 19 is on all major platforms. We're on iHeartRadio, Google, Apple, Spotify, Spotify for Podcasters, Amazon Music, just to name a few. So any information I haven't mentioned will be in the description box of the Oracle 19. Rumble.com, just type in the Oracle 19. The Greatness 19 channel, Mr. Evolution of London. Both both of those are on YouTube, of course. And finally, www.theoracle19radio.com. All right, well, today's topic, we're going to get right into it. Being truthful in your relationship. Being truthful in your relationship. Now, I know that's... It's very hard in this day and time. Because when you be truthful, truth hurts, right? And a lot of times we as humans don't want to... Be honest with people because we know that it will hurt their feelings. That goes of both genders. One, one topic that could be sensitive is how many partners you've been with. That goes both ways. Uh, men, especially if they hear females, you know, been with a lot of partners that will make them feel a certain way. So a lot of times women won't, uh, will, will omit that truth. And it could be the, both ways, but men is very territorial for the most part, so they don't want to know that their women been out there in the streets. And a lot of times these women are or have been out there in the streets heavy and have done a lot of ungodly things, so they don't want to talk about that. But sometimes in life... Your past catches up to you. And I'm I'm sticking with the partners for a moment, then I'm going to pivot towards other topics. But when you, a lot of times, 
women, and it could say for men as well, when you've been with a lot of partners, it comes back because it people you see in the streets or or your uh, in ladies cases they way the way their body is that men could tell that they have been out there you're not as fit I, I'm trying to clean it up for you you're not as fit as you used to be because you had a lot of partners and then men that is experienced they could tell a female has been out there and out there heavy. Now, a lot of people say, okay, it doesn't matter because I'm with you. Well, I know it matters to me, but a lot of people say, okay, you're insecure and this and that. All right, I take that. But everything matters to me if, it, you, if we are in a relationship. I personally think it should matter to you as well. A lot of times it has a lot to do, it's part of your character. If you, if a woman been out there heavy, a lot of times that was part of her character. Now people do change, yes, I get it, but would you want to be with a woman that been around like hundreds of different men? And, and I know you will say, okay, a lot of you men will say, well, it doesn't matter. And definitely females will say it don't matter because they're supposed to say that. But men, would, when, when you just say it doesn't matter, is that a defeat mindset? My question for me to you. Everything about the woman should matter to you. That's how I look at it. As well as the vice versa. But in this day and time... We, as humans, just push aside things that we just say, oh, it doesn't matter. And then it creeps up in the relationship, indirectly or directly. So it, it, would, it would matter. It does come out. Being truthful in your relationship. These things... Sometimes in life, you, in order to have a certain freedom, mental freedom, and I'm speaking of men and women, being truthful. For the most part, I know that's hard. And I'm not saying it, it's a very touchy situation, so I would say it's a case-by-case -case situation of what you should say and should not say because you don't want to hurt a person's feelings. I get it. But you should come. You should be as truthful as you can, uh, at least over 90% of the time. <laughs> Let's say, for example, um, the woman, you know, let's say the woman can't cook well. Should you just outright say, you know, you can't cook? Or would you try to show her and teach her? Now, some women, you can really say that, and others is super sensitive. So, again, it's a case-by-case -case situation. But you can still convey the information where she, she understands that you know that she can't cook. Example A, you might just say, uh, hey, you know, sweetheart, I need you to watch some videos on YouTube on how to cook lasagna. I'm just throwing this out there. And she might just say, you, you, you don't think I could cook lasagna? Well, you know she can't cook lasagna. When you taste her, her lasagna, the food is trash. I would like I would be blunt with that me personally. Some of you men might just say, "You know what? It's just I want it I want you to I want to taste it. I want to eat it a certain way. I, I need it you know, sweetheart, it just don't taste what how I want it." So I like for you to check out this video. And and Use this recipe because I like it. I think I like it like this. You might have to do that. 
but being honest, being truthful in your relationship, it, it's, it brings a certain freedom. And I think in this day and time, there's more of a deception in relationships. And this is what leads to a big time divorce. That's why the divorce rates are high in North America and that's why men and women really can't get along uh, for the most part because it's lack of truthfulness, uh, loyalty, uh, several things, but we're just speaking right now of being truthful. These things need to be put out there more and more. Or you shouldn't really be in a relationship if you feel you cannot be truthful. That goes both ways. And again, the truth can hurt. That it go again this is both ways but i i feel my personal opinion it needs to be addressed people need to know each other if you cannot if you can't be truthful you shouldn't be in a relationship I, I'm, st I'm really walking this slow and letting it sink in with y'all guys because I, it also reflects, I reflect with my past relationships. And a lot of times I wasn't truthful with these ladies of the type of person I really am. They, they had a general idea, but over the past, let's say, 10 years, I've been more and more truthful. So it, it's clear. And that's one thing I like about me having this podcast. If you really want to get to know me, for the most part, this podcast will explain a lot of things. And I know off right off the rip, uh, some of you understand it. You're like, yeah, yeah, I, I knew he was that type of person. Others would say, you know, this guy is just an a-hole. Either way. But you know, like, exactly where I'm coming from. So when you... If I'm meeting you for the first time, you can't say, well, I didn't know. Because I'm going to lead you and say, well, listen, have you listened to the shows? A lot of people say, well, I don't have time for that. Say it. Okay, I could tell you. There's so much to tell you. But it's best for you to listen as well. Because you really don't know a person right away till years down the road. But the important parts, definitely I have no problem sharing that. What type of woman I'm looking for. What I, what her, I feel her expectations need to be. What my expectations, what I'm going to do for her and not going to do. And a lot of times with men... Especially with uh, being truthful about themselves, a lot of men like to will want to be in uh, multiple relationships. They will ha like to have their main woman, because this is one of the biggest things, have their main woman, but have another woman on the side, or more than, or two or three women, four women. I don't know. And they feel that if they tell that woman, and I touched a little bit about that on the last show, that woman will leave. 
and most likely she will. So the question is, should you be truthful? That's why I'm like, mm, case by case situation, but you still should come close to letting her know that you like other women. You don't necessarily have to say, I'm gonna be with other women like tomorrow. You, you, you might not, can't be that blunt. You might just say, listen, you know, I like women. And women and I don't know. I, you might have to just it'd be come out with it and just say it's best. You know, you, you're a nice person, but I'm going to have, I'm going to be seen dating, you know, and, but I still value you. You're still number one, but I'm, I'm going to have uh, every now and then, or I'm, I might have other women I'd be seeing, but I still, you know, hold you in the highest respect. I don't know. I, I'm just rambling along. You have to figure out how you can convey that information. And again, but make sure it's clear she understands. Because you, the question I have to ask you, men, do you really want to be always ducking and hiding? and creeping, you know, seeing other women on the side, do you really want to live that life of discomfort? Especially in this day and time where people got camera phones, they take pictures of you, and it could be on social media anyway. And then you FaceTime in this woman and it's, she's recording it and it gets back to the main woman. It gets very complicated. And then I, I, you see it on social media, men getting caught left and right because they have an iPhone and they, they didn't lock it and, and she looked into it and she see text messages and now it's drama and, you know, this woman is messing up your car and she's picketing in, in front of your house, basically stalking you on your job and... All because you had a second, you 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 had a second woman. All of this brings a lot of drama and and a lot of a complex situation. My question again, from you, from me to you, men, do you want to live that type of life? This is not like 50, 60, 70 years ago where it was less cameras out in the street. There was no social media 60 years ago, like Facebook or Instagram. There was no smartphones. Being truthful in your relationship, you, it, it just complicates things. And so I, I, I propose this to your individual men. Come out, be truthful. Let her know your motives. Let her know this, your movements. So you can walk down the street and people can film you and if you're with another woman, she knows what it is. You don't have that woman putting you on, on blast on, on Instagram telling you you're a no good cheater and stuff and now you got thousands of people uh, that know you and now it can hurt your brand and all of this and I see this with entertainers getting caught out there left and right and it, these women is destroying their brand and nowadays these women is even crazier out here than yes, the women of the yesteryears so you don't want that. So being truthful in your relationship, I think, is the M.O. It's necessary. You could live a, a comfortable life. She knows exactly what it is. It's clear. You don't have to be that truthful and say, yo, I'm, I'm having sex with a girl like tonight. You know, that you can, but she knows, that first woman knows that you are having sex with other women, but she don't have to know that part, but she knows you out there, so it's not no misunderstanding, so if her family members see you with another woman and go back to woman number one and explain that, woman number one, know, she know what it is. 
I just, and me personally, in this day and time, I just don't like uh, complications. I, I want to have a peaceful and civil life. So if I'm rolling with a particular woman, she should know and will know that I might, if I decide, might have another woman on the side. Because I don't think there's anything wrong with, with men having multiple women. I'm putting it out there. I don't, I don't see nothing wrong with that. But you just got to know how to handle it. Because, A, some men can't afford that. I'm talking about for long-term relationships. You having two women you're rolling with for long-term. That's costly. And it's mentally draining. Some of you men, as I'm, I've talked about this on previous shows, that you're better off just sticking with one woman and that's it because that's that's a lot in itself that's a lot of responsibility in in itself so you you should stick with that but if you feel like you have one woman she's solid and stuff but if you out in the streets and stuff and you see something just random and, you know, she nice body and, you know, you just want to switch it up and you just want to have sex with that. I don't see anything wrong with that. Because within men nature, this is what they are anyway. I see nothing wrong with that. And my woman will know that. Now, my job is to not to bring any diseases or ch extra children. That's respect. That's that's respectable. I think that's that's pretty fair. Because you bring a disease to the first woman, that's drama. You bring in extra children, that could be drama as well. So I mean, that's respectable. But there's a lot of oops situations in life because you men, you know, you get comfortable with that second woman, then you want to hit it raw. You know, pregnancy could come into place. So. That should be something that you should be truthful with your woman as well. You know, I'm a wild dude, man. And now nah, I'm just explaining to y'all. You could say, I'm a wild dude. I, I, this is my urge. And, you know, I, I try to keep it under control. But I love women, man. I love women. This is what it is. I can't tell you. But I'm going to give you, I'm going to treat you right. And I'm not going to bring it in front of you and stuff like that. But I love women. Again, is a case by case situation. She might accept that, and like I talked about that in the last show, but she might plot against you later on when you when you get older. So, is a case by case situation. I'm not going to. I would say handle the situation with caution, and if you play that role, you better make sure you stay healthy. Even your older days, you better have multiple options. Not saying multiple options of having other women, but multiple options where you can take care of yourself, you have enough money, you can travel, you can relocate, whatever, because that woman could plot against you, even when you tell being truthful. Because because women are very deceptive and deceitful. So you have to, when you truthful like that, you have to also prepare yourself for the outcome now on the a flip side ladies it's very deceitful if you are gonna be plotting against the man you you accept certain things you say yeah 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 I, I'm good for it but yet and still in the back of your mind you plot that's very deceitful you're not being truthful you should just be truthful and say, listen, I cannot handle that. And you shouldn't just be waiting until the man gets older and, and he's on, uh, he's down on his luck and then, or when, whatever the case, and then you plot and then you, you start to destroy him when he is at his weakest point. I think that's very deceitful and that's wrong. You're not being truthful in your relationship as well, ladies. 
just come out and say, listen, I, I'm not feeling this and it's, it's something I can't handle and, you know, just move on. Because men and women, all of these little nuances of information, it comes out one way or the other. And you being not truthful with your woman or man, it shows. And then it becomes a, a, a issue and now you have drama in your relationship, indirectly or directly. So, even women, you, you have to let the man know what you're really looking for, your expectations. And if he is not meeting that criteria, or you don't feel he can meet that criteria, let him know and you move on. A lot of women nowadays is, I would say, they being truthful of really what they're about when they say they want somebody with six figures, six feet, and so forth. But again, that's something that you, that might be something that, ladies, that is over your pay rate. And what I mean by that, because you can want these type of men, but you not on point. So that's another thing, another situation. Being truthful, but your expectation, well, your, your situation is not up to par. That maybe I'll put it that way. And what do I mean by that is, again, continuing with the ladies, you have a desire that men have to be super rich, and he has to be a, a basically a perfect man, but you you are an imperfect woman. You can't cook, you can't clean, you can't take care of your hygiene. You you uh, don't have common sense. You don't again common sense. You don't even know how three the name three countries, things like that. And the reversal with men. You want to be, you want the woman to be truthful about who she is, but you men are living a lie. You saying you have all of this money, but you, you broke. Things like that. You, you need, if you're going to build a relationship, try to build it on truth first. And again, I am not no dating coach. I'm giving you examples, things that I've, people have told me, things that I have been through, not being truthful with women. And then it turns out it goes to hell at the end of the day. But again, I'm in a good place in life, a very good place because there's a certain, I, I, there's a certain freedom women that is in my life I, it's, it's an understanding and I've been used to my space it, it's I understand what a lot of men that have gone through certain things in life now they're in a, a, a certain situation in life uh, they feel free they feel free to they can get up in the morning they can do what they have to do they don't there's no restrictions. They don't have someone nagging them. They can go anywhere they want to go. Do what they want to do. Having no, like a, just a bona fide woman living with you is a lot of work. But when you don't have that responsibility, it's great. At least I'd look at it like that. You know, you have women, like, you know, you see and stuff like that, but they live where they live and you live where you, where you live. Especially in this day and time, 
where people change up or they don't be truthful. It's a certain peace. And I know, and I, and I really stress this for men, you must in your household have peace because the world outside of your home is chaotic. And if you can't have peace in your home, that's a problem. And you have a lot of married men and women out here in sexless relationships, but they married entitled. But they miserable every day. They, they both deceive each other. They're not truthful. They're tired of each other. They damn well hate each other. But yet they've been married 30, 40 years. They just there because they just, oh, well, there's nothing out here. So I just going to be here in it. That could be a dangerous situation. Personally. Just being with someone just because. You need to be truthful people with each other. And let the chips fall where they may sometimes. A lot of times people say, I'm with them because of the children. I can understand that to a certain degree. Uh, money, because uh, they need each other's uh, resources. That's men and women. So this is why they stick with each other. Those are the, really the two main things, children and money. And that's kind of sad. Because you can't really be truthful in your relationship. You're just going through the motions. That man really hates her. She's fat. She's obese. He don't really want her. She don't really want him. He's not even a 22nd man no more. He's like... One, two, three, four, five. That's it. So she's ticked off. So they both got to go to work ticked off. I hear a lot of stories with men and men and women, but men especially because I'm a man. They confide with me in certain things. Oh, you know, the ball and chain. Ah, uh, you know, I just go to the restaurant before I go home because I got to get a good meal before I eat her cooking because her cook cooking is lousy. So I just got to eat something, fill my belly up, and then go home and eat the crap that she eats and, and tell her that it tastes good. What kind of life is that? You with that woman for so many years, and you should be even more truthful. All, all, yeah, you should be truthful because y'all been together for so long. Same thing with you women. You should be even more truthful with that dude because you've been with him for 10, 20, 30 years. I, that's what I think. But you're not. You go and tell your male friends about your wife or the females tell their female female friends. The men tell their men friends. The female tell the female friends about their spouses. That's not a life. You're not being truthful in your relationship. Again, I'm not no expert or anything. Far from me. I'm just stating something. I've been through the sands of life. Put it like that. And I'm speaking on something that I've experienced and witnessed and been through. I'm just not giving all details of my life because that's personal. Some things are just not necessary. Maybe... Years down the road, I, I might share it, but um, not now. But I can speak on something that I know. And I, on, on the situation, I would say, you know, I, I'm not perfect, not, and I don't proclaim to be. I made a lot of mistakes, a lot. A lot that could even cost me my life. But... I'm in a great spot in this day and time where I can I can speak with just comfort and, and peace and not like bitterness. I, I've been through the bitterness and probably once in the blue it still resonates because it's in my DNA. I still would say, dag, that is effed up. But it's not something where I will is 
engulfed in my soul where I would say all women is ish, stuff like that. That's when you know you're still bitter. And can you build a relationship, you know, a serious relationship again? Of course. See, if I was bitter, I could be like, yeah, I'm not trying to, mm, you know, I that type of energy. But I want to make sure if, if, uh, I, and when I'm talking about serious relationship, you're talking about living with a person, and uh, and then you know you're going, you're really making that move. That's something that you have to really gauge. You got to be aware and I'm at a certain point in my life where I'm I'm aware I'm at peace I can I can really uh, if I'm want to step it up with a, a, a real serious relationship I'm talking about living together I can I can uh, explain to the person what my do's and don'ts are and what I'm looking for and and we can sit down and have more of a heart-to-heart conversation with not even having a certain bitterness of the past being brought to that individual, if that makes sense for you. So long story short, I'm in a comfortable position, so I want to make sure I continue with that comfortable lifestyle, and I want y'all guys, you should be more truthful so you can be comfortable as well. That goes for men and women. That's very important. Very important. Because in this day and time, there's a lot of mental illness with people. Mental illness is running rampant. I never gave that thought maybe about five to 10 years ago. I I thought it was just nothing, but it is something. This society is becoming more weak-minded, and they're becoming more weaker and weaker, and that can resonate within your relationship when you find a spouse. You got to find out how mentally strong that person is because relationships is not easy, men and women, especially being truthful. So you got to always find, make sure that other person can handle it because they might not able to handle it. And the next thing you know, they they coming after you ready to delete you and themselves. That goes with both parties. So you really need to have an understanding. And if sometimes in life, well, I would just say this, people in general... A lot of people need to be by themselves, men and women. They don't really need to be in a relationship. That's another situation. Sometimes you just need, well, not sometimes, people need to be alone. And you need to explain that when you find in a partner, hey, I, I'm not looking to get any, uh, anything serious, into anything serious with you. But we could be basically companions. When I see you, we can go out, have dinner, have a good time. But then I go home to my place, you go home to your place. I think that should be the MO for a lot of people. And the the relationships in this day and time, it's not like the relationships that could be developed that was developed 60, 70, 80 years ago. I think because with social media and the corruption of society in general, companionships, it doesn't take away anything where, you you know, you cool. If I come into your city, we can hang out. Basically play, play, play like we are a couple. But at the end of the day, when I go back to my city and you go, you stay in your city and, and that's that. It's, that's already happening. But the game has changed because women out here are wilding out. They're doing things basically worse than men in a lot of cases. 
that's another situation you have to look at, men. Women is doing the same thing as you, and a lot worse. They have a multiple men. They ghosting you too. And I'm not saying right or wrong, up and down. People are who they are. And that's another thing you need to witness. Now I'm speaking from a man's perspective. You need to find out, know that woman. She, you cannot change a woman, men. men you cannot change, and that goes the other way around. But specifically, men, you trying to change women. That I was one of my biggest problems in the past, trying to trying to change women. Women, these women are who they are. Good, bad, up and down. They, they being truthful with them, you should let them know. You like again, smoking weed. I, me, Mr. Greatness, cannot deal with a woman that smokes cigarettes or weed. Have I dealt with women that smoke weed and, and smoke cigarettes? Yes. But that burned me to, to the core. And I told these women, you know, I don't like that and so forth. And they, it didn't make them comfortable because they still wanted to smoke their weed and smoke cigarettes. So I should be more truthful and say, you know what? This fundamentally doesn't work for me and we can't be in a relationship. But I still dealt with it and I still tried to change them. Well, you know, you can't do this. It could affect you, blah, blah, blah. Try to even accommodate them, you know. Don't smoke around me or you smoke in this place. Not, you know, all of that. They want to smoke their weed. They love it. This is a part of them. They smoke their cigarettes. They love it. This is a part of them. What that t- should have, t- I should have been truthful with myself and say, this is not good. We can't be together. Point blank, instead of trying to change them. And a lot of you men try to change these women. You can't. They are who they are. Being truthful is necessary, especially with fundamental things like that. Or if the woman was a prostitute, you know you can't handle that. I can't handle prostitutes. Mr. Greatness, uh, uh, prostitutes could be OnlyFans or strippers, scrippers, you know, half rappers and strippers. I, I'm just being random here. Or straight prostitutes. But have I been around with strippers before? Yes. I'm going to just say prostitute because I, I sum it up. They, you know, prostitute in their body. So I'm just going to say, have I been with prostitutes before? Not downright just prostitutes like that. But I'm just going to sum it up because I think it's all form of prostitution personally. Prostitute in your body. So I, I call it prostitution. Me, Mr. Greatness. I know I'm off with that. But me, Mr. Greatness, that's how he his mind works. It's all pro- a form of prostitution. So I dealt with prostitutes. Do you understand me? Does that make sense? I know that's that's a little backwards. And oh, no, I'm not a prostitute. I was a stripper, but I wasn't a prostitute. I'm not a prostitute. I'm not a hooker. I just did OnlyFans. I'm not that. You know, all of that gymnastics talk. I mean, again, that's how Mr. Greatness process it. Sorry about that. So. Different forms of prostitution to me So I dealt with prostitutes I have to be long winded Because I know years down the road When people hear this They're going to say You've been with prostitutes You've been with straight hookers the Women that walking up and down 42nd street The 23rd and 10th avenue type No, no, no That wasn't the case But I just formulate everything In my mind to prostitutes And I hope a form of prostitute So I hope I'm clear with that So yes, I mean I dealt with those type of females The point being It didn't 
I'm not comfortable with that. But I just dealt with them because they gave me a sob story. You know, I, I did this I, I because of that. And, and, and you know, I, I had no money. I had to go through college, all of that. But I know I wasn't comfortable with that. And I should have just been truthful and just say, this is not the business. I can't deal with you. But I just try to see, okay, I'll give you a chance and blah, blah, blah. Let's see how it's go. And again, it resonates because for me, you know, the, the physical body is different. You real men will understand what I'm talking about. Or there's a, not a certain newness with her. Let's say, for example, you... You know, she's been to many hotels. I use that as an example. She's just been around, you know. She, it's, the conversation is not fresh. Real men will understand that because she's been around. And that, I, I want, I need somebody fresh. If I'm going to invest my time, I want the lowest possible mileage. You real men will understand a lot of people like, what do you mean by mileage? You taking her like a car? No, you just want someone with least body counts. Just using, or, or different partners. I, I, I'm not in the business. I don't want a female to have 100, 200, 300 different partners. Maybe that's even more clear. So being truthful with that woman say, this is not the business. I can't deal with you. I wasn't. I just dealt with it because, okay, I gave her a chance. She cried and talk, and then I just did that sucker-ish and just dealt with it. But it's not, no. That's being truthful. And I wasn't that way until later in years. That's what I mean by peace. I can say that with a woman now for sure. I, I, I don't want no hookers in my life. And that's one thing I'm glad about my podcast because it explains pretty much everything what I'm looking for. That's why a lot of females, they just, they won't bother me or deal with me. And you know what? It's okay, though. That's okay because it weans out the, the trash, per se. So if you're going to deal with me, you're going to deal with me up front and because you know what it is. And if, just in case you don't know, I'm going to remind you. So it's a, being truthful in a relationship. It goes both ways. So men and women. It's things that you fundamentally cannot deal with. Women, some women cannot deal with men that smoke and drink. And I get that too. If you cannot deal with it, don't try to deal with that person because, you know, just say, okay, I give it a chance. There's certain things that it, it, it's a, a, you're drawing a line in the sand. It's almost like if you, certain political viewpoints or religion could, if that person is not a Christian, uh uh, that relationship is not going to work. That type of thing. But again, being truthful. No matter if that person is a great person, but there's certain things that will cause the relationship to it would be the relationship will be damaged on certain fundamental things that you don't agree with. That's both men and women. I think you need to be truthful in that type of space. So sometimes I think a lot of times in this day and time, men and women need to have more like companions. Versus just say serious relationships. You might as well. You're already doing it already. So you might as well make it official saying you looking just for a companionship. That's all. Versus uh, you saying I'm looking for a husband or a wife. I had a woman that said that to me. I, she was a, a, a neighbor. And I think I talked about this on my show, one of my shows years ago. I thought she was married to this man because I seen them together for over like 15 years. She said, no, they don't live together. They just companions. They just hang out and that's it. But the way you would think it, the way they 
situated, they, I thought they was married, but they just companions. He lived where he lived, she lived with where she lived, and she said, well, that works for them. He still can see other women, and I can still see other men. And they both in agreement with that. That I think, even though fundamentally people would say that's wrong, but it works for them. And they, their relationship is cool. They've been rocking like that, I think, now for over 20 years. He's, he lived where he lived. She lived where she lived. They see each other often. They can, and she pointed this out. They talk about everything and anything because there's no, there's no restrictions. Uh, there's no like they're not worrying about. Oh well, you know they're gonna split up because they don't live with each other. They still have their own lives. And she mentions at this stage she don't go around and whore around and looking at other men and dating. She just wants that freedom. I, I thought that was great. And the point I'm making is a lot of men and women, being married is not going to work for them. That's obvious. So might as well have like official companionship. Or I call it a business professional relationship. Business professional relationship where you have an understanding, you you have certain expectations for that woman. She have expectations for you, that she expect you to do, and y'all still y'all don't live with each other. You still have your own place. He could still go out. She could go out. I'm a little biased with that. I admit because I that's men could do it. When I still have this caveman talk, caveman thinking by y'all guys' standards. No, women can't go out and, ho- and, and date and other men and stuff like that. No, you belong to me. I say companionship, but I can see other women. You can't be seeing multiple men. Fuck out of here. You crazy? Fuck out of here. That, that's my Fred Flintstone type of mentality. No, fuck out of here. You you insane? Ish, you belong to me. You my property. Now I know a lot of women would be like, property? What are you property? I ain't nobody's property. You my property, ish. You belong to me. This is the type of caveman thinking your boy Mr. Greatness have. Women, no, you, you, you rocking with me? Look, I can do whatever I want to do, but I'm still not going to disrespect you. But you can't be out here in the streets doing what I can do. You crazy? No, you can't do that. I want your behind still home, baking those cookies, and I make sure you straight in life. But you can't go out there in the streets. No clubs for you, no bars for you, no men friends. Male friends, men can't be driving you home and you can't be saying, I'm going to hang out with you. Fuck out of here. And I mean that. That's being truthful. (laughs) That's being truthful. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) Find me my truth. Yeah, I know this uh, real caveman stuff. Thinking. And I know a lot of women would be triggered by this, but that's me. And being truthful to a woman or women about that, what you looking for. I know for me, a lot of women, most women is not going to be in agreement with that thing, especially the modern day women. I know this, but again, I'm not, I don't mind because I keep abundance mindset. There's men all over the all over the world that have that thinking and they get they meet with women that can accept that anywhere in the world and again i expanded my mindset in terms of dealing with women i have a a world minded thinking and what i mean by this is 
I don't, I'm not like set, it's not set in stone that I could meet, uh, I should meet only women in North America. And it doesn't mean I'm going to be just out here being like a passport bro and and going out and, and just searching. I, I'm not out here searching. You can find international women in the in North America. That's what I mean. So I I look at that. But again, I try to I continue working on me physically, mentally, financially. So I'm not worrying about finding women. I'm not. I'm comfortable in my skin. So it's not a, not a problem. And I have a woman now, so it's not a it's not a big deal. But she knows that program, and I keep on reinforcing certain things. So is and I don't I don't uh, disrespect, but I again is letting her know so she could know she completely know the, all of me. And we've been rocking for a while, so that's not a a, a big deal. But it, you always have to reinforce certain things so people have an understanding because people have a tendency to forget. But again, I don't have to throw it in her face type of thing. But if people have an understanding, that's cool. And, and again, I always keep a mindset. I always think people can change. People can change. One, I don't want to be caught out there 20, 30 years later and then people switch up on me when I'm at my weakest state. I always want to maintain a certain mindset where if people come and go, I could, life still goes on. I still have options. And not necessarily options finding women, but options in terms of living a comfortable life still. Because we have to be realistic as men. If you 80, 90 years old, ain't no really woman out here is going to be checking an 80, 90 year old man. That's not realistic. You could buy it. You know, by companionship, but I'm not in the business to live that type of life. I don't know. I like you got. I, I don't want nobody. I don't want to buy anyone's love or buy somebody to spend time with me, and they don't really want to. I. I that's just me. I don't know. Maybe I might think change up when I'm 80, 90. Who knows? But I. I I haven't been that type of guy leading up to now. And I doubt if I'm going to be that guy. You know, it, you paying somebody to hang out with you. That's a little bit different. You just paying someone for, you know, some loving and then you go at that type of thing. But I, I just, mm, I, some dudes just actually, they paying for a companionship, someone to just chill there, come see you, just to say hi, and they really don't. I, I, mm -mm. I want to live a life like, again, is about change, men. You, certain things you know you can't, you won't be able to do when you're at a certain point in life, age wise, you start slowing down. You're not going to look appealing when you're 80, 90 years old for the most part to. 20 something year old woman or 30 something year old woman that's only if the woman that you've been rocking with for a long time she is gonna love you and so forth because y'all growing together but it's not somebody fresh and new and I just don't want to live that life where I gotta pay for someone just to see me nah 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 that's why you be a better you and put yourself try to put yourself in a position man where you could you still active you still and we're not talking about sexually we talk talk about in life writing books being on shows developing 
you know, your social media skills and making money or, you know, traveling around the world, seeing different things. It, this is developing yourself. You always, from the cradle to the grave, can always develop yourself. So that's what I mean by putting yourself in a position. Yeah, don't don't allow someone, a female, to really put you in a trap where when now when you older, now you under her thumb. Hopefully your health will still be in order. Because she's gonna be real truthful with you when you get 89 years old. And if she wasn't down for you when you was in your 20s, 30s, and 40s, or 50s, she she gonna show you who she is when you 80 years old. And you don't want that. Because you can't do nothing. You're in the wheelchair. You, she got to feed you, change you. She going to show you. And that's not a good feeling. You bad, that's a bad, being in a bad situation. So, being truthful in a relationship is very important in, in developing that. And so a lot of men and women just need, in my personal opinion, and I'm repeating this, just companionship. And letting the other parties know this is what I want. That might that might be that might be a, a better situation for your guys, especially in this day and time. So be truthful with yourself. Be truthful with the partner you with currently or potential. And if you do that, you might have a better relationship. Never mind the relationship what people will uh, want out of you, their marriage and children. Because that's another situation is people with, or especially women with children. Y'all ladies with children, with different baby daddies, you might just need just a companionship relationship. And that might need to be explained to the new man. Because here's the reality. To have a solid man, a good man, a real solid man that will be willing to take care of you and your children that is not even his, men is not signing up for that. A lot of men that want to be simpish and because they feel they can't do better or they settle, they just deal with that and then they accept the child. But they really don't. If they look, if they really had an option, same type of woman, same look, but woman A had no children, same belt, same education, same status, same everything. Woman A had no children. Woman B that you with now have a whole bunch of children. If he had that option, which woman you think he will choose? Most men. Come on. Obviously A. But we, as men, settle. And we know being in this relationship with women with children, here's the reality. You got to go through a lot of nonsense with the child. That, that is a 95% definite chance you're going to go through drama with that child or children. They're gonna, if they're not going to say it, they're going to think it. You're not my dad. And only if that woman enforce it. And it's just, it's, it's a different situation. You yell at the, uh, you have an argument or you have a, yeah, you have an argument with the woman. The children is getting in the mix. Don't talk to my mother that way. If they teenagers, yeah, they want to get in your face. If they're young, like eight, nine years old, they still will look at you a certain way. Yeah, you, you come on, man. Where are we going with this? I've been through that. And it's just not worth it. Not for me anymore. You know, and if you see the child doing something wrong, you want to discipline the child, but you can't. Mother will jump in or whatever. It's just not. It's being truthful. You might, men, you need to be truthful. This is not the answer for you. And a lot of men. We know a lot of women, most likely women, have children. I don't think 
unless she's a real super duper type of woman, which you do have a lot of super duper type of women out here, marrying that woman and then you got to marry the children with it and, and then the, the baby daddy's not far, far from the relationship or baby daddies. That's a headache. The only way it will work is if A, the baby daddy is dead or husband died so there's no baby daddy it's you the daddy. Or two, the, one, the, the child or children is teenagers and they live on their own. So it's just now you and that woman. That can work. Or three, y'all have a blended family. Y'all both have children. That can work because you have an understanding. That's a... That's a a strong possibility of it working, even though that's a little tricky, but that can work. But if it's just a one-sided thing, you fresh and new, you have no children, and she have a gang of children, ah, ah. Being truthful, man, you about, that might, that's best for probably companionship. She has her life, you have your life. I see you when I see you. And, and both parties have that thinking. And you can still have a, a good relationship. You, she knows that you see other women. That's what it is. Now, I told you, like, I have a K-man thinking. She can't see other men. If she see other men, the relationship is over. And women want to still, if they want to play tit for tat. If I could do it, you can do it. See, or you can do it, I can do it. And the reason why I say... No, because see, men, when they have other women, I'll give you a better example. We can go to a strip club, meet a beautiful wim- a woman there, big breast to see, big behind, dime piece, very good in the face, have intercourse with that, think nothing of it, go back to your wife, everything is cool. You can eat breakfast in the morning, not even think about that woman wanting to see her again. Or take her serious. This is the mindset of a lot of men. But women, when they have intercourse with another man on the side, it's more emotional. They into it. Now, you do have some savage women out here that can think like men. But for the most part, women, when they go into a new relationship or a second man... They looking at that man and they trying to develop a relationship with that second man. They developing something. They, they, it's, there's emotions in, into that. Again, women can't sport uh, F. I, you know, I'm just trying to be clean here, not always cursing. They can't sport F. They can't have sport sex. Maybe that's better. They can't just have sport sex like men. Men can sport sex. Sex is like a sport. For us, we run around, do what we do, go back to our wife or girlfriend, nothing happened, everything is cool. I'm telling you some real spit here, some real talk here. Nothing. I could do that with no problem, no problem. That's just how I think. It's, it's cool. And a lot of real men could do that, no problem. We talk about that. But a lot of women can't understand that you're not men. But women, you can't do that because we know when you do that, you that's a, you investing, trying to invest in that new relationship. That's the difference. You're emotional. So being truthful in your relationship. This is why I said you can't do what we do. Now, to feminists out here and other women out here, you totally would disagree. You would think I'm some Fred Flintstone caveman, have a caveman mentality. I get it. Yep, no problem. But I'm just telling you, this is, I'm being truthful with thyself. This is me. This is me. Any woman that is rocking with me, they know what it is currently. 
and I'm comfortable with that. And I know uh, uh, most women is not going to agree with that and don't want to rock with me. They look at me like I'm an idiot. I, I, all of those adjectives and nouns you want to throw about, throw at me, no problem. I get it. Sorry, register. But I'm just saying I'm being truthful with myself. So it won't be no drama. I'm not trying to get drama. Females just, oh, I didn't know you was this type of person. I didn't, oh, I I just didn't know. No, you know. Not only through the podcast, but I'm going to tell you in personal life. Don't mean I'm not going to treat you with respect. I'm going to always treat you with respect. As long as you, you, you respecting yourself, you respecting me, you're going to get that. This is, but when you have women with children, you need to, I think most of these single mothers out here need, if they're looking for companionship, it should just be like that. You have your place, I have my place, and I do not think you single mothers should allow your children to see these different men, especially if you want to have just a companionship. You should go to the man's house, and if he don't have a place, spend money to get a hotel, and, you know, you do what you do. But don't bring different men in your house. That's not good for the children to see. That's where it gets messy and disgusting, because a lot of these single mothers bring different men into their homes and have the children call them uncle or dad or stepdad or uh, all different types of weird names. And then it's just man to man to man. You make yourselves ladies look bad. You make yourselves look bad. Not the man that you with, yourself. And this is why your value as women has dropped because you do, you're trying to get into the world of sports sex. So you're not being truthful with yourself and you're not being truthful with your partner. You try to crowbar a serious relationship and you're not in a serious situation. You're in a messy situation. You broke. You got your single mother with multiple baby daddies. You got gang of children. And, you know, you have a lot of issues. Just have companionship. And being truthful with thyself. And by the time you you have that thinking, now you're 35, 40, 45, 50, and nobody really wants you because your market value is, is dropped. Your body is not the same. Your breast disease is sagging. Your butt is sagging or you have no butt at all. You're looking old. you washed up. How can you get a high value man? How high value man and you washed up? This is the reality. So being truthful in your relationship, you need to find somebody that that it could fit into your your lifestyle. And that's men and women. If men, if you have a busy lifestyle, you might not can't get in a serious relationship. You might need just companionship as well. Somebody, you know, you can chill with or have an understanding and it's just a business professional relationship. I, you, we as people, that's the bottom line, need to be truthful with thyself. Being truthful in your relationship, you or a potential relationship, you need to really know yourself first and know what you can offer a society or another spouse, I should say. That's why I bring it back home to saying companionship, just making it efficient. You're telling that man or woman, this is what you're looking for. I only want companionship. We can hang out, this and that. Nothing more. Then you don't have to worry about craziness, people running up on you. Men and women. We just living in such a degenerate society. 
that and and it's showing even that within marriage, marriage is not even happening today like it did in the yesteryears. Heck, boyfriend girlfriend is 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 not really the same. So, yeah, we might have to just go really take it to the really low basics. Companionship and make that official. I see you. We just, you live where you live. I live where I live. I call you. And it sounds very barbaric. But my question for me to you, would I keep, would that bring the peace in today's society? Making official companionship relationships versus something serious. That's my question for me to you. And it's really, that's a shame that men and women can't even have an understanding and get along and it reached such a low level. If you can't even have a companionship relationship, I just think we as citizens need to just be alone and just work on ourselves and upsta- uh, stay, not even get involved uh, sexually. Even though that's not how we was created, but why be in a relationship and you causing destruction in a relationship? That's both men and women. You, why, why, why put yourself through that situation? Because you just need sex. Yeah, we we as we sexual creatures, yes. But why would you put yourself in a situation where you could cause chaos and destruction? in another relationship and you not mentally there or economically there or just anything that goes both ways men and women so something to think about again I'm not a dating expert I'm not even a dating coach nor am I nor do I have a desire to be I'm just giving you a perspective, things that I've been through in life personally, things that I've seen in my life personally, and I'm just speaking on it and giving my perspective. You don't have to listen to it. You could just say, you Mr. Greatness is talking crazy. He don't know what he's talking about. I disagree. Life is going to go on with me. I'm still going to do what I do. I'm still going to make my life wonderful with or without you. It doesn't matter. You can listen to the show. You can unsubscribe. You can say this guy's an a-hole. It's on you. Because I'm not putting pressure on you to listen to this, subscribing or anything. Just my perspective of life, things I, again, I've been through, I've seen, witnessed, so I'm just speak on it. And I know a lot of you can relate to this, and you can just pass this information to family, friends, and foe. Like, subscribe, and share to the Greatness 19 channel, Mr. Evolution of London, the Oracle 19 podcast, again, on iHeartRadio, Spotify, Apple, Google, Amazon Music. You find me on that platform as well as rumble.com. Just type in the Oracle 19 and subscribe to all of these. So you take care. Have a blessed day.